Now, I see a lot of y'all doing all these crazy things when it comes to, you know, betting or whatever. But today, I'm going to teach y'all how to manage y'all money, y'all bankroll, and how to build it a little bit, all right? But first, hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so when it comes to managing your money, like, you want to be smart with your money. Rule number one of all of it, though, do not bet if you do not have the funds to bet. That just does not make sense, okay? If you don't have money to bet, why would you be betting in the first place, all right? So, that's rule number one. We're going to go ahead and get that out of the way. That's rule number one. Rule number two, all right? You have the money to bet. You bet. Don't, don't go fishing. Like, do not go fishing. What I mean by that is you lose a bet, you're trying to get it back. You lose it, you keep trying to get it back, and you're continuously losing your money, okay? Bet the money that you can bet. If you have enough money to bet big, bet big. If you don't have enough money to bet big, bet small. If you don't have enough money to bet at all, don't bet at all, okay? Number three, this is a personal one that I really use myself, is put your money to the side, okay? It's like being at the casino, you know, if you had a blackjack table. You win some, put, your, put what you came to the table with to the side, put it back into your account. Say if you put $10, $20 into your account, you bet the $20, okay? Next thing you know, you're wearing 40. All right, I'm putting that 20 back in my account. I'm playing with the house money. Now I'm putting my 20 on something else and I'm doubling it, okay? If you lose it, okay, that's fine. I'm going to put my 20 back in that I just put in. That one has been working well for me. Uh, just simple fact, I'm a small better, you know? I like parlay. I put 5, 10, 20. If I'm feeling good, I put a lot on it. You know what I mean? But I'm more of a build the bankroll type of guy, which that leads us into number four. Build the bankroll, okay? You start out small, you know. You don't have to bet on everything. Start out small and work your way up, okay? So, for example, you know, you can bet like $10 on a plus 100 and you get your 20. You see something else that you like, put the 20 down, get your 40, okay? Put the 40 down if you want, get the 80. You know, just build your bankroll slowly because, you know, all the games come on on weekends. You know, we got college football coming up as well. Starts Thursday. You can build your bankroll up till Saturday where the real games are and do whatever you got to do with it. But don't bet on everything, and that's going to lead to number five. All right. I see a bunch of people betting on European and tennis and stuff. Please bet on what you know. Stay on what you know, okay? There's no reason for me, I watch basketball, I watch football. There's no reason for me to be betting on tennis. At that point, I might as well go buy a lottery ticket because I don't know Well, I don't know what's going on. I don't have any clue what's going on with tennis. That's like me betting on baseball all the time. I know a little bit of baseball, but I don't know a lot of baseball. So, I'm not going to continuously bet on baseball, okay? So, bet on what you know. Like, don't bet on European or some, some Chinese basketball and you mad that you lost your money uh, on a team that you thought that should have won. You have no clue what's going on over there. You don't keep up with any of it. So, don't bet on it, okay? And for my last tip for y'all today, all I'm going to say is don't stress yourself out over sports betting, okay? Don't I don't I don't like the idea of paying like a thousand dollars for a pick or for someone else's thoughts when you can just do the research yourself. Sometimes too much research does not help you. So research can hurt you, but it can help you as well. Depends on how you do your research. But nothing is a guaranteed luck, I promise. If Anybody tell you they got a lock of the day. That is not a thing. It's not a thing, bro. Anything can happen. There is no locks of the day. I'm going to let you know that now. If you feel like anything is a lock of the day, that's you being confident in your pick. That's not it being a lock of the day. I promise. I don't have plenty of times so I'm be like, oh, yeah, this is a lock. This is guaranteed. No, it's not guaranteed all the time. So, Get, if once you get out of that mindset that any, all of this stuff is not guaranteed, then you'll be a okay. But all in all, set your money to the side. You know, 
Uh, don't spend it all at once. Don't burn it all. Just because you wait 100 don't mean you got to put 100 down. Stay true to yourself. If you were small, better. You win big. Don't try to bet big now. You know, Just keep betting small. Keep doing what you're doing because it's obviously working. If you're a big better, keep betting big. But you can always go small if you bet big. You know what I mean? So please be safe. Be responsible. Do not waste your money and your time out here, especially if you don't got the money already. But I hope these tips was helpful for y'all. Um, I hope y'all have a good year in college football. We got NBA coming up, and we got some NFL coming up. I will be back sharing my picks for NFL, uh, a little bit of college football, and as well as NBA and college basketball. I got to forget about college basketball. But other than that, hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Your boy Suave is out. Peace.